everybody, and welcome back to Intonation, the story of Arden Welk, runecaster, archaeologist, and cavern delver extraordinaire. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to be out of character and apologize for the weird frame rate issues that we're having with these videos. It doesn't look too bad from where I'm currently recording. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the compression on YouTube apparently has decided to make this whole first chapter look kind of icky, and I will endeavor to make it not so much in the future, but I figured it would, it, it's a high time to, uh, to acknowledge that this is a thing, it's, it's not your, uh, Arden's gonna try to get up a cliff, I think. It's not your imagination, it's not it's not your internet being screwy, it's it's actually the compression on YouTube kind of making everybody's lives miserable. Uh by the way, I did try for a while to figure out how to get up to this spire. I eventually do, but not in this episode. It's it's not till like the very end. Spoiler alert. But that's alright. Um <laughs> There's a hawk. But yeah, I uh, something to do with the way that I recorded the entirety of episode episode one, and then split it up. Uh, uh, some somewhere in the process, uh, it it might have been uh, it might have been the software that I was using to begin with. It might have been the way that said software um, split up the episodes because then I had to reformat all of them, and I think. We, we probably had a bit of quality loss in there somewhere. So I am, um, I, I was trying out something different for, uh, for trying to record episode, or, uh, blah, blah, chapter one. Um, I actually was using a different program than I used to record all the scenes for, for instance, the prologue, or any of Honorless. I was actually using Fraps for those. And I was trying to use a different screen recording software for this chapter of Intonation. Which was probably a bad idea. I was con I was mostly concerned about file size and playing for um, like hours on end and not having a way to split up the episodes. Which is much easier to do in Fraps, but again I was worried about file size. I'm not so much worried about file size anymore now that I know about about where I tend to split these chapters. Or episodes, rather. So, fear not, chapter two will hopefully be a much higher quality than this. Uh, I'm sorry you have to put up with this for now. And yeah, we are kind of lost. I went in completely the wrong direction. <laughs> uh, she said northeast. I think. And I went northwest completely on accident. I didn't even see the map marker when she gave me the quest, which is why that whole thing with Cloud Ruler Temple happened. Which I mean... Well, there's the road down there. Good good job, Arden. We're up on top of a cliff and you're completely lost. Well done. Um... What was I gonna say? Uh... <laughs> I, I would like to take more opportunities to talk about Arden's personality and his psychology. Part of me wants to leave it until epi until chapter two so that you don't have to slog through too much of this weird um, framey stuff to get to the good plot points. Obviously we had one in the last episode and the well more like the last three episodes of uh, Cloud Ruler Temple, Broken Blades, and A Long Road East. Uh, a Long Road East started out with that long not really too long, but the, uh, the journal entry. Uh, that's, uh, that's a plot point that's going to come into play later on, but... Yeah, it, it was on his mind, so he wrote about it. Basically, that's how I'm going to be doing journal entries from here on out, is just... Uh, whenever there's something that deeply affects Arden, he is going to write about it. And it's, it's not gonna be a frequent thing, I don't think. Um, he tends to keep expedition logs rather than a journal. Like, that's, that, that's a dedicated journal. That might change with future characters, who knows. Um, but yeah, Arden is... 
Uh, I, I, yeah. Arden is Arden. He is... Oh, he's getting attacked by a wolf. He's getting attacked by two wolves. Yep. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna let him, uh, speak for himself now. I was going to stay out of character for a little while longer because it is a really... a really long way to where we're going. I was considering cutting out a lot of this travel time, but... Uh, I want to- okay, I guess I'll, I'll stay out of character for just a little while longer, just so I can s explain why I'm not fast traveling anywhere. Um, I don't really, uh, for the sake of roleplay and, and telling a story, I do not like to fast travel. There's like a bear or a wolf or something over there, a mountain lion. From, from where I'm standing, it kind of looks like a mountain lion. I think I thought it was a bear at the time. Or a wolf, I don't know. <laughs> But, uh, Arden, um, Arden won't fast travel, Zaytest won't fast travel, Kinoa won't fast travel, Yarnvita won't fast travel, except sometimes, um, off screen, between acts, that kind of thing. Like, it's, it's gonna be... <laughs> the only time I ever use fast travel is to get to places so that I can do cinematic stuff, like I did with the prologue and the, um, the We Are the Warriors trailer. Other than that, uh, during gameplay, while, while I'm actually playing and recording, I will never fast travel. Because... It, it breaks immersion. It really does. Like, I don't... <laughs> couple of deer. Hi, buddies. I, I don't really... I don't like skipping roads. I don't like having to... I don't like clicking on the map and just being somewhere else. It, it takes away the sense of, oh my gosh, this is such a long way, I can't believe I'm going all this way. And it, uh, it takes away the need for camping, which is something that I really love doing in this game, thanks to mods. I'm pretty sure that that's a goblin den up there. Yep. See those totems? That's the goblin cave. And he's not gonna go in there, he does not want to tangle with goblins. And I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to let him talk now. Because it's been quite a long road and he's sort of been keeping to himself. And and not talking too much about what's going on in his head. Oop! Oop, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a new one. Not quite a deer. What is that? I see pillars in the distance. I also see fog rolling in. Oh, it's damp fog too. Ooh. Well, I'm glad I have this new armor. It's, um... It's a bit warmer. Well, it's not really warmer, but it's, um... It's at least easier to move in. For which I'm eternally grateful. I don't really... Is that where I'm going? This map is rather poor for actually maneuvering places. I need a better map. I'm going to get a better map when I go to Skyrim, that's for sure. Uh, Cyrodiil, I can at least sort of find my way around. The mountains are north. That's all I need to know. Oh. Northeast. I can't believe I went northwest. Well done. Well done indeed. Who else, dude? Who else, dude? Alright. Alright. Wow. Wow, yeah, that fog really rolled in. Just right over everything. I can't see really anything from there. Oh, there's a... Those pillars look rather out of place. It's getting late. Well, not super late, but it's getting... It's afternoon. But I think I might 
Oh. You stay over there. I'm not bothering you. Oh, God. Yep. Uh, oh. Really? Really? Great. Bit my hand. Oh, oh, come here. Come here. Right, right. Lost concentration there on a couple of. Whew. Try and cast. Runes. Oh. Alright. Is that what I think it is? Because I think that that is an ancient Nordic ruin. What is it doing in Broom? Well, I suppose I suppose the ancient Nords or the Ap Morins or whatever you want to call them, they actually did come this far south, but this is not like anything I've ever seen before. Look at the size of these stones. Oh. I wonder if Cloud Ruler Temple was built by the ancient Nords. Look at, look at the size of these stones. And look at the look at the shape of the archways. Oh, what are those? What's up there? There's like faces carved into the size of these archways. Alright, looks like there's some treasure down there. Something. Oh, it's a puzzle. Alright. Uh that looks like a whale over there. And an eagle or a hawk and a snake. The question is which one is which? Um I'd hazard a guess. That one's the whale. This one is the eagle for Kinnereth. Or Kine, I suppose. This is ancient Nordic after all. I have to remember the names. That one was Kine. And I believe the snake. Well, that did nothing. All right. Well, it's the other way then. The snake, I believe, is whatever the ancient Nordic equivalent of Lorcan was. I don't remember his name. And the um, the whale, I think, is a representation of soon, soon, stun. The one that guards the the. The bridge to Sovngarde, I believe. According to ancient legends, that is. Ancient legends that I am not an expert on. Ask me about aliens and I might be able to tell you more. But not ancient Nords. I might have to learn a thing or two. Oh, look at that shield. Huh. Wow. Oh. Spell tone. I will take that. And I think I'll leave those here. I have no use for them. Oh, got my foot stuck in the door. As one does. Um, right. I think I'll just leave that there. Okay. Onward and upward. Where's Frozen Grotto from here? That's a great question. I'm guessing almost exactly north of where I am now. Ah, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, isn't it? Okay, back up the way we came then. Oop. That's the tricky thing when you get up north like this. Snowdrifts, and and scree, and all sorts of things that make footing rather difficult. There we go. This looks like the right way. Let's go. Let's hike. I have to save my breath a little bit in case I get attacked by wolves again. But ugh. 
I've also got to build up my stamina. Alright, there's a mine. Ah, uh, looks like bandits have been here. I'd rather not tangle with them, thanks. I'm here looking for artifacts and heirlooms, not fights with bandits. <clears throat> Ooh, cold air. Cold air. Mm, nope. <laughs> I'm not built for this kind of weather. Oh, 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 excuse me. I'm not built for this kind of weather, I'm not built for this kind of altitude. But I suppose I'll have to get used to it, shall I? I, I will. Whatever. It looks like there's a gap in the glaciers up there. I'm willing to bet that that's where Frozen Grotto is. Alright, let's go in and have a peek around, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> 